Bachelor Nation's Brian Abasolo is calling it quits with Rachel Lindsay. After four years of marriage, the chiropractor has filed for divorce from the reality star on January 2nd and announces the news on his Instagram, saying, If you've been following me for a while, you know I don't like to put my personal affairs on social media and like to keep a safe space for our family. After more than four years of marriage, Rachel and I have made the difficult decision to part ways and start anew. Please respect the spaces of our family and friends as we figure out our next steps. And according to court documents obtained by E! News, he cites irreconcilable differences as the reason for their split. He also lists New Year's Eve as the date of their separation and asks to be awarded spousal support. E! News has reached out to Rachel's rep for comment and has not yet heard back. The couple, who tied the knot back in August of 2019 after Brian appeared on Rachel's season of The Bachelorette in 2017, recently revealed their plans to expand their family, with Rachel saying to E! News exclusively in November of 2023, It's something that we want. It's been harder than I thought it would be. We're trying. You think, oh yeah, when I'm ready, I'll make it happen. But it's just been a little bit more difficult for us, but we're definitely starting the process. And although the duo met on TV, they've kept the relationship private recently, and Rachel explained to E! News how it's, quote, always a hot topic. Whenever there's a rumor about a Bachelor Nation person getting divorced, it's my husband and I because we aren't public with our relationship, and that's the exact reason why we're not. Following the divorce news, Rachel seemingly hints at having a fresh start as she posts this gym selfie to her Instagram story. New Year's Day workout, sweating out everything from 2023. And then a repost about lessons of 2023, which includes includes go where you are celebrated and people will show you who they are always believe them ahead of the divorce news rachel went on nick vial's podcast the vial files to talk about how 2023 has treated her and what she's looking forward to in 2024 how you been i'm good you know i feel like this year i normally say odd years are my years but it's just it has not been my year um a lot of changes a lot of growth i went to europe for two weeks with a friend. And that was just a resetting moment that I didn't even know I needed. And I really had one of those moments where I felt baptized in the water. Like I went in, I went out, I let go of so many things like work had become very toxic. I didn't feel like I fit in anymore there, even though that had defined me for three years as well. I was like, should I leave? I'm afraid to leave. And then I'm like, Rachel, you've done this before. You stopped practicing law to pursue all of this. So that was changing a lot for me. You know, we're working on having a kid. Congratulations oh to you. Oh my gosh. Um, and it's, it's like, sometimes that's not as easy as you think. You think, yeah. okay, when I'm ready, I'm ready. It'll happen. And then it doesn't. So that's like been a little bit of a struggle too. So it's just a lot of change. I'm ready for a restart button mm -hmm. for 2024, but everything is good. Like I feel very much at peace. I have a lot of more time to just do the things that I want to do and figure out what's next. So. I'm trying to not freak out because I'm so used to controlling everything. Yeah. Just being... Uncertainty can be scary.